So in this video we will be implementing or adding the editing feature for our department details table. So basically we will create a button here, buttons here, edit button. So on click of that edit button uh, a pop-up will open with the details. For example I want to change finance to um, maybe uh, finance 1234 or something. So I want to edit the details of finance. I want to change the name of finance. So I'll give a pop-up. So we'll show a pop-up, edit uh, department model pop-up and then we'll change the name and then click on save so that we can save the department details. So let's start by adding the model component, edit model component. So basically I could have used the same add department model component for both adding and editing as well. But to keep things simple, let's create a separate component for editing. <clears throat> so let's create a new file here. Name it as edit department model dot js. Okay. So let's have the same import as that in the add department model. So react component model button row column form snack bar and icon bar icon button. Okay, and the next thing that we want to do is we want to write the export class component which uh, we will rename as edit department component. Okay, so the next thing that we want is the constructor with the same uh, functions. So let's have the constructor with the same functions and also the properties and the handle submit will add that function and uh, almost everything remains the same just that we are giving uh, you know filling the details and then uh, change on on we have we are providing um, you know uh, so that the users can uh, change the details of uh, department okay just a new feature that we are going to provide and also we'll display the department ID on the screen currently we on the click of add department we are not displaying the ID so we'll display the ID as well in the text box <clears throat> so we need the snack bar close just like the previous one so let's have that function as well and then the handle submit so let's have the handle submit function so instead of get method now it is put okay so it is put and rest all remains the same um, so we have to pass here so instead of passing null we have to pass the department ID this time so let me replace that and give department ID so we have to pass these details and then as usual so okay Okay, then that's fine so the next thing that we want to is the render method so let's copy the same render method from our add component module <coughs> so here we have the render method and uh, okay so in the render method instead of uh, okay so let's these things all remain the same center bottom center then a message id close close inherit okay icon button so instead of add department this time it is edit department okay 
<coughs> okay so then the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a department id as well so how are we going to do that is uh, we'll copy the form group the entire form group from uh, okay from here to here so we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna paste it here and give the name as department ID department ID there department ID here and department ID here and here as well <clears throat> and then we'll disable this okay we will uh, disable so we should not be able to edit the ID we just have to edit the department name right so we are giving department ID disabled so the next thing that we want to give is the default value we have to populate the default value right so the default value will be equal to so we'll send this on click of the button we'll send the department id and department name to this component so we'll say this dot props dot we'll send it with this name dp id so the same name that we are going to use in department.js on click of the button we'll send that department id here and that will be populated so the same way we want to put the default value for our department name and this time the name will be let's give it as DP name so we have to use the same name here while passing okay and that's it so this next thing that we want to change should be this let's change it to update department the button name okay that's it now let's go to the department.js component and the first thing that we want to do is import the department edit department module edit, edit department model from uh, dot slash edit department model okay and then we have to show the model show just like that we have for add model show we'll have the same thing for edit model show as well and then the rest of the thing will remain almost the same so here so I told you that we have to pass department ID and department name to our um, edit department model component right so we are gonna put the same name in here department ID and department name which the same thing that we are gonna use here department name department ID okay we are gonna pass that on click of the button so we'll put that in this dot state and uh, let's copy the same add this model close so instead it will be now edit edit model close this dot set state edit model show so we have edit model show here and the names are matching so now we will go ahead and add the button for edit okay so we have department ID department name next thing that we want to have is the options right so we have another header which is uh, the options so here we have will have the edit button so it is in the third place so let's cop let's add another td table okay so here we are going to add that button so let's have a button toolbar button toolbar so inside the button toolbar let's have a button okay and the button name will be edit 
okay and what are the things that gonna have we gonna have in the button um, so the button will have uh, maybe a class name we'll give some margin so we'll say margin right two and the variant will be equal to info which is I think some light blue or dark blue color <clears throat> so next we have on click so on click we want to sh save the details of the not department ID and department name right so this dot set state so on click equal to this dot set state so we want to show the model window as well as set the properties or set the ed department ID and department name right so we're gonna set this dot set state um, so this dot set state sorry so here we'll have edit model show edit model show will be equal to true and um, department id will be nothing but dep so where what is the dp dp is present here right for each of the rows so we're going to send that department dot <coughs> department id and then dp name will be dp dot department name so that's it <clears throat> okay so the next thing that we want to have is the model itself the department model so we're going to put that edit department model okay so what goes inside is show so <clears throat> show will be dependent on this state this dot state dot edit model show so it is dependent on this so if based on this true or false the edit department model will either show or it will hide so on hide so when you manually click on the cross button or the close button um, we will say on hide will be will invoke this method edit model close what will happen the edit model close will also set sorry the so edit model close will also set the model show to false so that the model window closes okay next we have uh, department id we have to pass right here is how we pass to from our uh, department component to our edit department model component we send our department id and department name like this this name that we are going to use should be the same as that we are referring here okay department id department name so we are passing here and fetching it here and populating in the text box and showing right so department id we're going to send which will be equal to nothing but the department id which you don't get confused this department id is the this dot this this state so it belongs to this this component department id i'm using the same name uh, but this department id belongs to the department.js component and this name along with the value will be sent to the department model edit department model and the next thing that we want to send is department name equal to department id department name I guess we can also use this dot state dot department name uh, it should also work but uh, no not needed here in this case <clears throat> okay so I think that's it let's check if it's working also yeah we have got the button so let's check if this is working or not so I'll click on edit on the finance which the department ID is equal to one I click on edit so you can see that uh, the department ID text box is disabled which means we cannot edit the department ID right so we can only edit the department name 
so I will give it as finance instead of finance I'll say finance one two three four I'll click on update department let's see what happens so did it update yes it did update but did we get a message yeah we did get a message here so if you can see so let me make it as one two three four and click on update department I'll zoom in here so you can see the message so this will automatically close so yeah we have implemented the edit feature for our react.js application especially the table right so in the next video we'll implement the delete button so on click of delete the department should be should get deleted from the table okay